Hello and welcome everybody. You should know who it is because you've clicked on the damn video. So if you don't, then hi, I'm King Demps. Um, yeah, we're watching a demo. We're watching Complexity versus MIBR at IEM Dallas. Complexity have sucked a fat butt for a long ass time. I mean, NA in general is in the dumps, sucking all of the butt. Yeah, I'm just going to watch this demo and try and find out why Complexity... How Complexity managed to lose to a team playing with a stand-in. So in general, uh, but, 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 I'll tell you what, we're going to leave the... We'll leave the castle control on for now. Um, and we'll watch it from that point of view. Um, but obviously we're going to be taking a lot of looks at the minimap and whatnot. So let's just see what's going on in here. Um, okay, so a pretty fast ramp hit from Complexity. Okay, they've got a lot of ramp control. Don't really consider this position. Oh, wow. They've been crunched pretty fucking hard here. Uh, I wonder what the plan was for complexity there. Yeah, I don't know about that um, pistol. Like, it wasn't terrible. It's whatever. They took fast ramp control. But then, I don't know. They just got stuck between every single angle. Like, they didn't really take hell very convincingly. They didn't really pressure ramp that hard. And then they just got, yeah, they just got swarmed from everywhere. Okay. Um, not necessarily a complete disaster of a pistol strap, per se, like going fast ramp like that. Um, it just then looked like they didn't necessarily have a plan after that. Like, was the idea take ramp, sit in ramp, and then see what happens? But the problem is, is the CTs don't have to react because you've got that guy playing at the back box on ramp. Which, I don't know how common that necessarily is on the pistol. Maybe that's something Complexity haven't had to, like, deal with very much. I don't know. Not not convinced. It felt like they got a little bit lost there. Didn't know what to do. Um, we're going to speed through this because whatever. Who gives a fuck what Complexity you're doing with four blocks. Fair play to JT. Getting a kill. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, oh, this is dead. Yep, cool. Okay. Uh, are the guns going to come out? Yeah, they are. Okay. So complexity's problem in general has been their T sides. Their T sides are fucking woeful. Um, in general, it, uh, their T sides either seem too simplistic, or like they overcomplicate things in the mid rounds and just get absolutely bam fucking boozled. They absolutely snap their own ankles, <laughs> like running around in circles in the mid round. Um, so let's see what we get here. Um, pretty standard default. Nothing too special. Jota or Yota is worried about outside, understandably. Um, yeah, pretty standard passive default spread. Looks like outside smokes are going to get thrown. And then ooh, let's see what they do from there, whether they actually try and take yard or whether they just relax. So it might be are actually in decent positions already to hold this because Turtle, I think, is around for some support. Yeah, and then they've obviously got Jota in secret, so they could definitely fight this. Okay, Jota's full back. Okay, so Complexity have gotten the yard control now. They can't really MIBR fight this. Turtle can have like a little look, but he needs to be a little bit careful. Bit and Turtle are still kind of here. So MIBR are not giving up completely. Now it's what Complexity do with this control. Because they've gotten... Ah, Grim. Yeah, okay. Just get spam through door. JT needs to win this duel, really. Okay, he does. The round is back on now because... Uh, so now this is just an upper hit. Just hit upper here. Okay, this should be a one round for sure. Turtle going to try and wreck Fang. I think he's going to kill him here. Yep, good from the Turtle. Good from flopping those trades. A good... Okay, 2v2. So this hasn't really been a disaster of a round. This has been pretty, pretty chill. Um, a bit of weird nonsense happening at door, really. The amount of kills that have happened at door this round is a bit weird. Um, Grim getting spammed down is... Mm, I mean, it's neither here nor there. Like, it's going to happen sometimes. Um, but there seems to be a lot of action going on around door. And a lot of kills going down around door that maybe shouldn't have. So they should really win this post plant now. I think Heaven players, yeah, playing a bit too passive. Ah, JT's got to win that, man. Yeah, I think JT is not really helping his uh, low HP teammate at all there. I think because your teammate is so low, your teammate is just going to die instantaneously. 
Um, you've either got to make sure you refrag that, or you have to just play more aggressively off the start and actually give your low HP player a chance to do something useful in the round. So I don't think Complexity played that post plant super well, but they were in kind of tough positions. JT being in heaven, Floppy being on top of the bomb. It wasn't super ideal. So nothing like super egregious from Complexity so far. Like it's not been filling me with confidence, but it's not been terrible. Okay, we'll speed through this. Looks like it's going to be a straightforward upper hit. I, this is what I would go for. Good job, JT. Not a lot of grenades. Good job. Wow, they've done really well to get onto the site here, to be fair. Um, it looked like that shouldn't happen. It looked like there were not enough grenades for that. I think MIBR, if they watch the demo, will be disappointed to just lose the upper site like that without really... Like, they weren't blind massively. It didn't seem like a whole lot of uh, utility really pressured them. It's, it was a bit chaotic, though. Hard to tell. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, like, super egregious from uh, Complexity so far. Like, that one was... MIBR will be disappointed to lose the upper site so easily. That's really rough. Uh, that's super rough. It also sometimes seems like Complexity's attention to detail is just lacking a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, been a bit harsh on them. But, yeah, that like, there, then, like... Uh, are we not aware that spawn could be a thing? You know, again, it's not like the end of the world. I'm not like absolutely shitting on them for it. It's just like these little things add up and eventually you can't keep making excuses and saying like, oh, it's not that bad, blah, blah, blah. Like at some point you have to start taking responsibility. Okay, so they get somebody in secret very early here. This is really good. So this is like with a minute 30 already having a man in secret with a decent amount of control. Uh, and they're kind of just chilling passive around lobby, right? Yeah, and Floppy is uh, on hut roof. Mini hut. I always get mini and hut confused because I'm dumb. Good shot from Cello. Dry peeking is uh, okay. I probably would. Oh wow! <sighs> Did they just assume Cello had fallen back? Again, that, that again seems like attention to detail to me, man. Like, they, you just died to Cello. You've just died to him. You know he's there at ramp. But the way Fang cleared, it looked like he wasn't ready at all for that angle. And then Junior was not looking the right way to trade at all. Like, Junior and Fang were clearing the same angle there. That is a bit silly. Yeah. And then piss all Floppy can do. Uh, yep, we are... Oh my god, they're going for a scuff buy. Okay, we'll watch this because they're going for a, a bit of a scuffed buy. Junior's going to try and get the ramp pick. A lot on, like, a huge amount on Junior here. Junior has to get something done with this orb. Junior has to get something done with this orb here. So I don't know if MIBR are necessarily aware that the orb is out, but they haven't, like, exposed on angles where an orphan might be able to pick them off. And they've used their utility in such a way to block off the choke points and stuff. I doubt they know for sure what an orphan is in play, or maybe you don't even expect it, but I think they might be aware that a force is... Ah, now that is exactly what is needed from Junior's orb there. Okay, so this is a way into the round now. I would just get down ramp quickly. See, this is where I think... Hmm, I don't... I think I agree with slowing the round down here. Because when you're disadvantaged with weaponry, slowing it down like this. Okay, so this is a good bait setup. That was really nice, that bait setup. But then it falls apart, now you're in a 3v3. And yeah, you've picked up some weaponry, but you had a man advantage and you had like a lot of space you could take lower. Now, yeah, they're so bad. See, that's one where I, I think the mid-rounding is pretty poor from complexity there. I think once you get that kill in ramp, I think you take the space very quickly with those pistols. I don't think you want to slow it down in this kind of scenario. I think it's just a wrong decision. Because I think you allow the rifles time to, like, consolidate their positions and kind of, like, reset their defense. Yeah, and that's just losing gunfire. I think this is another thing we can play. See, I think they are just losing a lot of jewels. I think they're losing a lot of gunfights. And, you know, ultimately, I hate how often CS players reduce it to we did or didn't hit our shots. But, it, unfortunately, you can't get away from it being a very key aspect of this game. You've got to fucking click some heads eventually. 
And I think Complexity have, have struggled for that for sure. Like, look at the frags on the board. JT's the only person who's had, like, any traction, basically, early on in this game. So I think we're going to get outside smokes again, it looks like. Complexity are kind of setting up in the very passive way that indicates outside smokes. They're probably coming. Yeah, here they come. Just mopping some dust off my screen. A little bit of dust. Oh, interesting angle from B. He's going to get picked here. Yeah, again. Oh, they get picked for free. Oh, okay, Bit did not need to hang around there. Yep, that was the wrong one. Who the fuck is that? She's jumping around out in the open. Jota, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's two freebies almost given to complexity there. Uh, floppy with a great frag. Okay, Floppy's doing some shit this round. Okay, there you go. See, more decisive. That's This is better. This was better. They were actually a bit more... De they got given a few freebies there. That was not a well-played round by MIBR at all. Like, fucking Jota jumping out in the open when he knows they're outside. Bit should not have hung around after getting that uh, pick at all. And I think MIBR will just save here. Yeah, they'll just save. No stresses, no dramas. It's only the second round for the T's. Their economy is still kind of in the dumps. Oh my god, did he hit that? No, he didn't. I don't think he did. Fuck me. I look close, though. All right, guns come back up for everybody. So, so far, Complexity haven't, like, played a very good T side, but they haven't been completely atrocious, and MIBR have definitely given them a few ins. I think mainly it's just been MIBR have won more gunfights, and Complexity's mid-rounding has not looked very, very good at all. I think a couple of times just needing to, like, Yes. I mean, JT kind of runs into that spam, no? Like, am I being overcritical? Because I'm coming into this video knowing the complexity gets squished by an MIBR with a stand-in. So I know my brain is biased. Like, I can't get away from that as much as I might try. But did JT not just walk into that spam? I'd have to see it from JT's point of view. But surely he hears the bullets. Surely he knows what's going on there. And he just runs out into it. I don't know. Again, maybe being critical there, but again, it seems like an attention to detail moment again for me. And wow, Junior just walks into a team flash. Okay. I'm not sure whether to blame him or his teammate there. Junior very low. Bit traded down. This is a really hard round. They know exactly where Col are. Yeah, they know exactly where Col are. Oh, wow. How's that not kill? Yeah, it did tag him. Didn't need physics man in this game. Oh, wow. Bit dies. I don't even know where. Upper? Was he pushing lobby? Oh man, turtle rips Grim's head off. Jesus. It looked like maybe that was a lobby push, which MIBR probably didn't need to do, but I guess they lost the map control outside and lost a lot of hell control, so maybe they thought they needed to. Yota's chill down here. Observer's having a bit of a nightmare here. Not the uh, best observing I've ever seen. Ah, yeah. Yeah, they, again, they go a man down. I don't think MIBR react in the best way. Like, MIBR give up a kill, put it into a 4v4. But then, completely just lose gunfights, man. They just don't... They just look outclassed, really. Like, they're not playing... Oh, I mean, they're not playing a good T side here. Let's be perfectly honest. But they're not... You know, it's not the worst T side I've seen out of complexity. <laughs> I've seen some fucking bad T-sides out of complexity. This isn't, like, the absolute worst. Like, they're taking some map control. They're, like, getting ways into the rounds and getting opportunities. They're just not capitalizing on them at all. And another scuffed purchase from Cole, but it's fine because the loss bonus is built up. They've got plenty in the bank. And the utility. Okay, good flash there. It's just going to get chewed up. Oh, come on, Junior. Don't make us watch you do this. Christ. There we go. <laughs> I don't know, man. Not the best up hit I've ever seen. Kind of got stuck in door. Uh, stuck in fucking hut. Okay, another fast up of play. Yeah, just no... Oh, no. Okay, they, so they dropped down. JT's stuck as fuck. Okay, that is so fucking lucky that happens like that. 
still very winnable for Cole. But they need to take some space. They can't just sit on the site and hope. It really vital for from JT. JT's played a ball of around here. JT's the only person who feels like he's actually opening anything up. Cello's got this one, surely. Is JT going to go for it? I don't think MOBR are going to go for this one. Yeah, bloody hell. They have really relied on JT for like playmaking here, complexity, which is uh, a bit worrisome because JT is supposed to be their in-game leader. who's not a particularly good fragger. Especially not on tier one. Level. Ooh, okay. MIBR can go for this. I think, uh, yeah, Cello knows he picked it. Up. Okay, Fang's gonna win it though. It's fine. N not enough time. I don't think. For Cello to win it yet. Good post palm from Fang. Okay, so Complexity finally hit a few shots there. I in all seriousness, um, but what was key was like JT actually making some plays in the mid round uh, for Complexity. Just. He got very fortunate with the first one because he missed the vent and then realized he could play with the edge of that smoke and then caught... Who was it? Was it Jota on the reload? Caught somebody on the reload. Um, but yeah, huge plays from JT there and then Fang solid in the post plant. But yeah, again, a more simple round worked better for complexity there. I think I'd be saying let's just like simplify this game a little bit. Let's not do those upper rushes or upper hits. Uh, maybe on a bar bad buy later in the half, we'll do another one of those. But let's it's not really look very good for us. Um, but let's just, you know, maybe take the R control, get someone in secret, and then just pick a site and hit it. Like, just keep it a bit more simple. Okay, so the full, full outside smokes here. They're going to go around. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, stop Cello. <laughs> nah, Cello really wants to fight this, man. He wants a kill, at least. Okay, so Cello has full information that they have ramp here and that they could go. I don't... We'll see how the round plays out, but uh, Complexity haven't super convinced me when they've taken this ramp control. I'm not the biggest fan of taking ramp and leaving a lurker there. I think it's often so super unimpactful on Nuke. The, the lurker in ramp has a lot of responsibility to actually get stuff done. I don't think they can just sit in ramp. But Floppy, I trust, actually, to be a guy who might be able to play a bit more aggressive with his lurk positioning. Grim's, yeah, Grim's going to get the timing there. That was very readable. The turtle, again, a bit lazy, a bit lacking in... Oh, okay, Floppy almost did actually get hurt. Yeah, and they get moved down. Man, this T-side, there's just... There's just bits lacking from every round from complexity on the T side, man. There's just a little bit lacking in every set. It was a bit unfortunate Floppy didn't get that ramp frag. In all seriousness, that was a bit unfortunate. Oh, Junior. Okay, before it really becomes an issue. But yeah, it, it just felt really one-dimensional. They're only really coming out door there. And then their, their ramp lurk... Okay, but it, I think their ramp lurker needs to probably try and more aggressively get up into heaven, if he can. Or do something. He's just saying ramp not really doing anything. And because they kind of committed to the site on the upper hit, it's like their ramp lurk is kind of even more useless unless he gets a frag. Unless somebody walks into him. Mm. Again, though, they took the ramp control and didn't do anything with it. Like, it... Ooh, Grim with a decent shot, though. Finally, Grim's actually getting some frags. I'd have to go back and watch this one closer to really pick apart this complexity T side. Because there ha No, there have been mistakes, but I want to say there isn't like a, a an obvious glaring structural error. Like, they don't understand this. Their, their trading's not amazing, and I think trading is super important on the T side, particularly in this A1S meta. Um, so I think the attention to detail and comms are bad in that respect. And in general, the attention to detail doesn't look amazing from complexity. Um... They take a lot for granted. They're dying from angles they should be more aware of a lot. And they're not trading off those angles. Um, like that one time Junior and Fang cleared ramp and they were looking at the same angle. And then they didn't seem to be aware of Cello. Even though somebody died to Cello literally two seconds before. You know? I don't know. It, 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 it This seems like quite holistic. It seems like a lot of the players are having issues on their T side. It's not just like, oh, the calling's bad. Like, the mid-rounding isn't great, don't get me wrong. I think there's been some bad mid-round calls from JT. Assuming they're from JT, we don't always uh, know what's going on in the mid-round. But it's not been super... Uh... And they've, they've... Oh, this is a bit messy. This turtle should not have got another frag there. 
I'm not gonna criticize Colt too much for that. That's just fucking super messy. That's that's just one of those wild like yeah, just see who comes out on top. 50. Ooh, JT though again with the mid-round playmaking. JT's the only person individually who seems to have any understanding of how to do anything impactful in the mid-round on the T side. But then the mid-round like calling on the T side's often been a bit sus. Oh yeah, this is perfect from MIBR read this like Ooh, floppy hit a banger though. It's not good enough. MIBR rotating pretty nicely, um, but Complexity's lack of ability to trade is uh, making life easier for sure for MIBR. So, so okay, a few things. Some some bad trading from Complexity for sure. Um, I think I would be like dry running a bit more in the servo if I'm cold, because there's a few of these where they're pathing uh, when they're clearing areas of the map is just not great. Like, like I say, I'll point to that ramp example, but that was the most glaring example where Fang and Junior... They're not spaced properly, and they're both looking at the same angle. More so Junior's fault, because he's the guy coming out after Fang. And they both seem to have forgotten angle they died from two seconds ago. Um, so yeah, definitely um, trading's not been amazing. And just the pathing as well on kind of their entry work when they're trying to clear areas has not been great. Mid-round calling has been bad in some rounds. Uh, Mid-round playmaking from the individuals hasn't been good enough, apart from JT. Uh, losing just a few too many jewels as well. This is why it's hard, right? Like I say, there's no one structural issue that is glaringly obvious. There's a lot of different mistakes happening in a lot of different rounds. Like sometimes it's the trading. Sometimes it seems to be like even just the pathing, like a very basics of the pathing and the spacing is bad. Sometimes it just the mid round calling seems to be a bit like questionable. Sometimes they take map control and don't seem to know what to do with it. And this, like, uh, nuke is a map complexity will come to a lot. And it's it's weird to see their T side look this shit. When this is a map they come to a lot. It's going to be the inner execute again. It's not going to work. Oh, no, it is there. She got the... Mm. Okay, maybe it will. No, it won't. Yeah, maybe I'll mop it up. Yeah, these upper hits have not found them anything. Not found them anything at all. I don't think a single one of those upper executes has worked. If you can't even get one round off of your like full utility upper executes, you're gonna have such a hard time on T side nuke, man. Okay, final rounds. Complexity are really badly needed. Uh, I would say 11-4 is, you know, 12-3 is is three is the absolute bare minimum. I think four is like, mm, okay, five is okay, here we are. Like, five is, I think, what you want to aim for, um, if you can. Uh, you know, four is, like, acceptable. But I think being a team that's so, like, you know, willing to play nuke and pick nuke. Okay, JT's taking this. Control. Dry peeking. A lot of dry peeking from Col as well. A lot of dry peaks. Like, you watch better teams on Nuke T side, they'll be a lot more careful about, like, creeping around that corner in secret. No, okay, good trade. Finally, they actually get a trade. They're aware. Still aware. Okay, good. Molly, there. See, this is better. Bit more attention to detail there. Mollied off the angle. Mm, they're going to do that thing where they slow down with ramp control again. Why are they so reluctant to go lower when they have the ramp control? Not, uh, okay, in this instance, it's a little bit more understandable because of JT's positioning. But still, they're so fucking scared about going lower when they have ramp control. Okay, now they need to group as three and go lower. And they need to let Floppy be the lurk. They got a trade bit. Yes, there you go. See, this is way better. This is way, way, way better. This is the best T-sided round I think Complexity have put together. Floppy again, a little bit unimpactful with his lurk, but uh, I haven't followed that lurk very carefully, so I haven't seen his pathing. But yeah, no, this is around. This should be. Oh, okay. HP on Fang is sussy backer. But apart from that, he's, he's a good angle for it. Oh, Turtle. Junior gets a kill. Yeah, good play. All right, well played, Junior. Ooh. Stay alive. Yeah. 
Okay, good work. That was the best T-sided round I think they put together all half, and it was right at the end. Much, much better. Much better trading and pathing. Much better utilization of that map control at ramp. It felt like they didn't understand when they could just sit on the ramp control and then let the rest of the team work, and when they needed to just say, there's no reason to just sit in ramp here. Let's fucking actually do something. Let's go hell. Let's go ramp. Like, down ramp into lower. They seemed really reluctant the few times they took that ramp control to just go down lower. It's like, they're just sometimes the simple call... In fact, a lot of the times, especially if you're struggling historically on your T-side, which complexity are, they uh, do struggle on their T-sides whenever I've seen them in Tier 1 events. Just keep it simple. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. And that's not insulting complexity. I say that to myself. Keep it simple, stupid. Stop overcomplicating it. Stop thinking you're fucking Einstein. Just pick a fucking bomb site and hit that bad boy. Especially when your trading is so so. You don't want a really complicated round with a lot going on if your trading's not amazing. Very simplistic, but Complexity are going to have a very hard time if they don't win this pistol. Good start from JT. Fang dies to turtle. Good flashbang, probably. Good kill from Grim. JT kills floppy, though. Where'd that happen outside? God, they're just taking fights everywhere. Can't really be affording to lose to these Glocks in these outside fights. Pistols are one of the biggest just-hit-your-shot rounds of all of them because you so often have little utility and stuff. Grim needs to be helping JT fall back there. That's a bit of a shocker. You've got to be helping your buddy. Okay, at least he trades it. There you go. You can forgive him because he traded it. But I still think it was probably a mistake and he should win. Bit needs to get that kill as well. Oh, my God. Some let-offs here. How did Grim have no awareness bit could be there? See, a lot makes me think Complexity's comms are not good. A lot of this makes me think... A lot... Just seeing Complexity play on the T side, a lot of it makes me think... Um, complexity play on the T side. Seeing Complexity play... Um, sorry, just because we were talking about the T side so much, my brain went... It makes me feel like their communication is a bit doody poopy caca. Key fight here. Bit rips Grim's head off. If he'd have put the fucking smoke down. What's he doing? Put the fucking smoke down! Bro! <laughs> Cold from Bit. Cold. Put the damn smoke down, man. What was he doing? Did he, did he fuck it up twice? Or was that... Did, uh, I don't know, man. Why wouldn't you put the smoke down? That was weird. That was super weird. Gets a leg on... See? There's so much more to... See? They're just gonna go. Decisive. Just go. See? Uh, dude, honestly, man... Oh, okay, okay I, I don't even give a shit that Floppy managed to get two kills there. He shouldn't have. Like, do you see, though, they have the site complexity on the retake. They're fucking in some suspect, like, situation. Yeah, that was a shit molly from Bit. I don't know what, how Bit thought that molly was ever going to get down on the ground. And now they slow it down. That they have the bomb site. Now they can slow it down more. Because complexity are the ones who are fucking nervous. This is... Uh, yeah, you, you've already... You've already seen a perfect example there of uh, just more decisive, better decision-making on the seaside in the mid-round. Just because of the guns, this should still be MIBR's round. I don't remember the final score here, actually. I know MIBR win convincingly, so I assume from memory, I think complexity only gets single digits. 
Okay, the compl the communication, I think, broke down for both teams in this round. It got very messy and chaotic, and it seemed like nobody knew where anyone was. Bit has the spam. Yep. Okay. He's still got the spam and a 10-second defuse. I think he's just going to back the spam. I, I don't think he's going to... Oh, my God. Is he going to win this? No, you can't lose this. I think if you're JT, you've got to stick on the bomb there because it's the only thing that gives you a chance to win the round. It's hard for JT once Junior doesn't win that fight. I think Junior kind of fucked that up again. I think that's another round Junior's kind of fucked up. The damage wasn't confirmed, but like Junior really needs to get that kill there. Or they need to push together and not have one stick on the bomb and one hold it. Junior maybe needs to say, look, I can't hold this with a scout, man. Maybe he should have stayed up in heaven. Like, it's a slightly easier shot to hit, funnily enough, from further away. We'd have to look that round back a little... Ooh, sorry, punching my microphone. We'd have to look that back a little bit closer in more detail, but yeah, it felt like Junior unfortunately kind of cocked that one up again like he did uh, on the pistol just not putting that smoke down twice J the complexity feel like they lack firepower as well man like even floppy seems to have kind of gone off the boil and he was the one guy who felt like reliable fang feels like he can sometimes but like grim has been so disappointing on this complexity man like grim was supposed to like be let out of his shell a bit more and he's just not done anything i'm sorry junior's a fucking liability um just seems to be like a tier three stat padder you know like i know it sounds brutal and you know i'm sure he's a great dude but uh just all evidence has suggested he cannot hang at tier one he's just not good enough uh and then you know jt's jt he's your in-game leader and and in this game, he's looked like the only person who knows how to fucking playmake in the mid-round. E even Floppy's lurks have just been duty. But it's hard as a lurker if your team's comms are bad. And it, it looks like Complexity's comms are not always the best. Oh, man. you got See, Grim, Grim, you've got to win that. You have Shadow Advantage, man. You've got to win that one with Shadow Advantage. And if you're going to play that spot and not even get one... Also, he's the only M4. Why is he playing that spot? I don't know, man. This is... Yeah, they're just not really kidding anyone. At this point, it just feels like their heads are just gone completely. <laughs> Turtle wreck, Jello. Absolute keck. Fuck me, man. Yeah, at this point, it feels like Complexity's heads are gone. Like, because they're like, wow. They didn't get, like, a single frag in any of those situations. Nobody traded? No, no one managed to hit a head? And now this is, yeah, game over. It's just force up into... Oh, no, they've left themselves enough so they can have a buy all 15, but... I don't know. What do you even say at this point? You've got, like, nothing meaningful done at all. Yeah, they're just going to absolutely poopy and doo-doo on them with the uh, upper rush. Yeah. Yeah. They know they're going to be on a crap buy, so they're, like, just... Hit up a nice speedy Gonzalez. Trade out if we need to. There's not even any point holding on to anything if you're complexity, so you should go for this retake, try and do damage. Um, because you're just gonna buy the next anyway. Maybe Grim saves his armor because he's not got a lot of cash. What's the loss bonus on? No, it's on the full, so just fucking go for it. There's there's no point anyone saving anything here. But it's such a disaster, there's like no way in. Just going out with a whimper as well. If I'm the in-game leader, I'm like, guys, just just don't be fucking pussies. Like, just try and get the retake. Like, do something. You probably knock because there's no kit, but was there no kit in the round at all? Ooh, nice shot from Grim there, though. Oh, go on, Grim. Yeah, all right then. Get a few exits. At least getting a few exits is such so that it's like, um, if you do manage to get back into it on 15, at least you've done some economic damage. It helps your chances in the long term. But yeah.
going to need to see some impact from Junior with this AWP because he's gone no util in order to get it. No, and do you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna uh, we're gonna just stick on Junior this round. Need to see some impact with this AWP, buddy. Did do it on that round uh, earlier in the game. Got the pick on Cello at ramp on that T-sided round where they did a force up, a really bad force up, and he got the AWP. Movement was a little bit suspect there. Okay, here we go. Needs to get something here. Yeah, a bit scared to take the peek. Fair, uh, understandable because they've got the site very cleanly. Ah, uh, yeah, this is so over. This is so over. This is so fucked. Ah, yeah, absolutely. Fuck over, McGuffey. Yeah, wow. This is just, yeah, 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 just call it, call it. You're like, yeah, fuck it, I don't want to play anymore. Um, yeah, so, you know, another pretty fucking bad complexity T side. Um, so many issues, trading issues at times, pathing issues at times, mid round issues at times, attention to detail definitely seems to be a problem. Uh, and just fragging even like if we look at this. It's just not enough. There's just not enough damage and fragging getting done. They're just losing too many jewels. JT's the only person in the mid-round who seems to have any impact, especially on that T-side. Nobody else seemed to be able to get anything going. Floppy was really unimpactful with his T-side lurks. Um, I'd be interested to see Floppy's viewpoint in that game and see how much of that is the way he's playing versus... You know, if the team's comms are bad, if the team aren't really setting you up as a lurker, then you can just kind of be in no man's land. There's not much you can do in the mid round if your team aren't getting anything done. Like if they're not taking map, enough map control or not putting the, the defense under enough pressure and causing rotations, then it's hard as a lurker. But definitely wasn't impactful on his lurks. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Complexity's T sides in general are pretty bad uh, at a tier one level. I don't know. I don't think there's an easy fix for complexity. I think there's a lot of problems. Um, yeah. Rough. Uh, 